Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, and joining me today, I'm pleased to introduce you to Stuart Lawrence, Vice President of Product Engineering at Stream Data Centers. Stuart, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Bob. I'm excited to be here and um, talk with you guys today. Yeah, we were really excited for the opportunity to, to chat with you a little bit. We obviously know Stream very well. Uh, they're you know friends and partners and and all of that uh, with us, and and so so pleased to have you join the mix here in the conversation. Uh, so Stream doesn't need an introduction, but we'd love to hear more from you uh, in terms of you know, how your role specifically supports both the needs of, of Stream, you know, the company, but as well uh, as your external customers. Sure. Well, you know, my role is um, in product engineering is multifaceted um, uh, from the perspective that I support the sales efforts and the sales team. And Michael Citra's uh, team in particular, you know, architecting um, the most cost effective and efficient deployments that we can come up with for our customers. Um, and then, and then, you know, using a feedback loop, right, to uh, look at our design and iterate on our design so that we can adapt and uh, incorporate anything new and, um, and innovative. And that, of course, means that I get to evaluate you know a lot of new technologies. Uh, look at the way the way people are doing things now. Latest approaches, um, you know. But I would say you know Stream have been doing this for for almost twenty four years now. So um, they already had a really terrific product, and before I showed up, and and you can really tell that the design has been laid out and iterated by folks with a great deal of experience. You know, building and operating data centers. So. It's really actually kind of nice to to be able to iterate on something that's that's already that's already excellent, um, but but not to you know underestimate the the your, the tenure of your career, right? I mean, you've been doing this yourself for you know two decades, right? Building um, mission critical mechanical systems solutions I, I, is one way of putting it. You could probably put it better than that, but, um, right. you know, tell us about what are some of the things that have you've seen? I mean, you talked a little bit about innovation and how things have, have sort of evolved, but what are some of the things that you've found are, are the key uh, elements to really delivering high standards of service? Yeah, you know, I, I've worked in everything from nuclear power stations and hospitals and production pharmaceutical labs, um, and, then, and then probably the last you know, 12 to 15 years really in mission critical IT side of business data centers. Um, and maybe I'm going to be a little controversial here. Um, I, I think it actually all starts with integrity. Um, you know, the mechanical, the electrical components, yeah, those, those are obviously highly important and we have to kind of be serious when we approach how we design and, and architect those things. But um, you know, integrity for me is, is something that maintains standards and services, service excellence, right? And um, there are always going to be bumps in the road, um, you know, but you've got to do your best to make a good plan, stick to it. Um, and then if you do have to pivot or iterate, you know, be open and clear about it with your customers, your team, your partners. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so in my experience, I've always, I've always found that, you know, you get given a lot more latitude to succeed if there is trust. And for me, trust starts with integrity. So more specific to data centers, though, um, you know, there are many brilliant people in our industry, right? I mean, it attracts the best and the brightest and designs as a result often evolve fast. Um, and, and to maintain, and so for me, I strive to maintain my student ID, as it were, Mm -hmm. um, to surround myself with thought leaders um, in all the facets, right? There's so many facets to our industry. So much opportunity for young people coming in, right? To, to hone their skill in one segment um, and then become a thought leader in the business. So, you know, I try to stay humble, um, you know, keep in touch with the technology trend and, and uh, you know, uh, see what new ideas are coming out there. And actually, you know, surprisingly, I think, um, these days, it's not just the new ideas that are disrupting the status quo. A lot of the time, it's older, older ideas that are being recycled and upcycled and, and coming back and, uh, and, and disrupting even new ideas. So I actually kind of find that exciting too. Yeah. Well, and when I was, I just going to say earlier, you know, when you were speaking of integrity, it feels to me very um, well aligned with 
you know, what stream thinks of as, you know, their secret sauce, right. In terms of um, people and collaboration and, and how does that, how do you integrate those, those things in your day to day? Yeah. And, and in my day to day, I'm interacting with a large number of folks on the team, right. All our architects, engineers, consultants, construction teams, operations teams. So, um, you know, I, I, I pull a lot of that together um, and, and candidly the, talent that our leadership team has been able to pull in is remarkable um but what but what you know i having worked for some big organizations and and sort of lots of egos right what what what's, has struck me the most impressive is that the team is so humble and so collaborative um it's such a great environment and it breeds such a culture um you know, I, sitting down with customers, the pride that resonates from our team and the interaction that our customers get as a result is just tremendous. Um, it's no, I mean, it really is no surprise to me now um, that, the innovation, that the innovation that comes out of this team um, has such great impact with these clients. Yeah, no, I mean, we see, we see that every day in, in the all of the great things that we see coming out of Stream in terms of you know, innovation and advancement and expansion, but the, but the team's just such a pleasure to work with. You know, we, we see that and we see that from the, the, the industry as well, I think feels that way. So yeah, sure. I, I see that. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, so you've, you've worked all over, right? And, you know, whether physically in these places or, or working on projects globally, you know, in, in Europe and, and in different cities, New York and Austin in the United States, how how's that influenced the way you look at your work, you know, in terms of mm. sort of the global perspective of this? Yeah, I'd, I've been really fortunate um, to get opportunities to work, you know, on on sort of all the continents, right? <laughs> Maybe not so Antarctic, but, um, <laughs> you know, I think the thing that uh, sort of most challenged me um, through working in different locations and with, with different folks is, is that it I always... You know, I always try to seek to understand someone else's point of view first before applying whatever technology or approach that might be top of mind going in, right? Um, and as you can probably tell, I, I'm pretty passionate about engineering uh, and technology, um, often to a fault, actually, but um, facing cultural and even technological approaches that are different from what I was for, taught, you know, taught sort of forced me to be open-minded and, and give other ideas a chance first, right? And so um, I think that that resonates for me at Stream Data Centers too, right? It's like I said before, everyone's quite humble and, and collaborative and, and willing to listen and try to understand different ideas. And I think that breeds, um, breeds you know, a, a, a very innovative uh, environment for sure. Um, on top of that, you know, working and living in different parts of the world has actually made me quite frugal. <laughs> um, mm. I like to be uh, materially and energy energy efficient, right? I mean, I, it's driven me to to try to engineer out waste, and so I think th that um, certainly resonates well in the industry right now with a lot of companies having high ESG focuses, and so. Um, yeah, I like to bring, you know, the, the two ears, one mouth to the situation um, and listen to lots of different ideas and see how we can make things better. So on that note, what do you see, you know, I mean, this is always the tough question, right? The sort of crystal ball question, but, you know, from an engineering perspective, what do you see are the, you know, the big bets for you, you know, in terms of what's going to help you get to where you want to go to meet the, the demands that are that are coming for stream out of the market? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in the market right now, right, with supply chain challenges and uh, the great resignation and uh, labor force challenges and things like that. So, um, but, but I'm fortunate, like I said, you know, stream data centers have been doing this for almost 24 years. Um, and they've been working very hard, actually, um, with with a lot of their large customers over the last decade um, on refining the electrical topology or constructability of the product, um, and you know, working with procurement programs to make sure that inventory is is well aligned with the demands that are coming our way. Um, so I'm really standing on the shoulders of giants here. Um, you know, so so for me, my my role uh, and the way I look at what's coming down the pipe uh, in terms of big changes 
um, is somewhat sort of smaller iterations, right? Um, you know, we we're really focused on on not um, de delivering snowflakes, right? And we were trying to be much more um, focused on constructability and repeatability, reliability, um, ESG. All those things come to mind. Um, uh, but then, you know, one of my passions is a mechanical engineer is the mechanical side, and and I I love to get into the weeds there and and work on uh, you know iterating and, and bringing a, a better product or bringing a, something new that potentially um, disrupts the way we can deliver capacity. And I think I, and I think I'm I've got something um, that maybe we'll come back to at some point. Oh yeah. Oh, good. A follow up, a teaser. I like that. <laughs> uh, that's that's great. You know, Stuart, thank you so much for for just taking a few minutes with us today. It's been a pleasure to to meet you and to to hear from you. And I, you know, you you seem like a such a perfect streamer to me. Is that a is that a word? A stream <laughs> streamer. <laughs> Wait, let's just call yeah. It. Yeah. I'm happy to be here for sure. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, it's been it's been a pleasure. Um, um, very thought provoking questions, and um, glad to be a part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Mm -hmm.